Hello and welcome to all of you joining me today for our Oracle Guidance. Today we want to ask for help in dealing with social anxiety. If you are new to this channel, a very warm welcome. And to those of you who are regular viewers, thanks for your support and helpful comments. Today I will be using Alana Fairchild's Oracle deck, Crystal Mandala Oracle. A link is in the description. Her cards help to channel the power of heaven and earth. Social anxiety makes life difficult for so many, including me. If you are shy or think you don't have the social or communication skills that others seem to have, life can be rough. You may feel uncomfortable meeting new people or have trouble making small talk in social situations. And social media seems to have made the problem worse. You are either confronted with trolls who seem intent on making your life a living hell, or you find yourself tempted to troll others or write nasty comments anonymously. This video is for entertainment purposes only, so there is no quick fix or guaranteed recipe for solving a problem. But what we share is a blueprint inspired by angels and spirit guides to help you find your own path. Take and use whatever you hear that has a positive and meaningful message and leave the stuff that doesn't resonate at all. So let's draw three guidance cards to represent the unity of our lives. The three cards we've been given for this guidance session are number 13, Tiger Spirit Rises, Archangel Adnachiel and Tiger's Eye. Number 34, Read the Energy, Ascended Master Merlin and Mystic Merlinite. And number 50, The Inner Queen, Goddess Persephone and Ruby. One of the first things to note is the Archangel's presence at the beginning. This lets us know that the work we want to do to help deal with our social anxiety is inspired by the angels. Your own guardian angel wants to help you out of your suffering, wants to free your inner spirit, your true self, so that you can reach your full potential. What does the guidebook say about this oracle card? First of all, we see that the number triple four is for the angels. It is a strong and powerful message from the angels, speaking directly to your intuitive and subconscious mind. The triple four pattern is associated with stability, earthly reality, and building a strong and capable foundation for higher growth. This includes being able to work constructively with the energies of the ascended masters and goddesses to enhance your spiritual development and personal well-being. The triple four pattern is a reminder to have faith and let it manifest. You will be okay. Your life is wonderful, and this helps you be of service to help others. You are helped to step out of the suffering to the point that you can see more clearly, to not be perfect, other than perfectly who you are, but to realize you have something of healing value to offer the world in how you choose to be yourself. What does the guidebook say? We bring you the gift of the tiger spirit rising. You are being empowered with a truth more potent than fear. Your spirit is rapidly expanding beyond what opinion and logic can contain. It needs to be free to run wild with divine grace in the world. Your life, your destiny, fulfillment requires that you have the courage to roar for love, to refuse to be put down, to respect yourself, and to let your untamed, loving heart be free. Your spirit creates a field of divine electricity through your body and mind that can liberate others from conformity and social conditioning, allowing them to break away from systems based in control and fear. 
As your tiger spirit rises, you excite and empower the tiger spirit in others to rise above conditioning as they discover the wild, divine spirit being they are in truth. Close quote. How can this help us move beyond the anxiety that imprisons us in social settings? It doesn't mean that all of a sudden you just run wild. We know that the divine is loving, tender, and merciful. It is compassion, wisdom, and peace. What this tiger spirit under the direction of Archangel Adnokio means is that this spirit is natural and free with an instinct towards growth. It won't always make sense because the very nature of wild grace as it operates in the natural world is hard to fathom. But we see all around us how life thrives. Your divine spirit also needs to grow. It needs to throw off all that confines it and holds it prisoner. This is not escapism or immaturity. It is not selfish or cruel or abandonment or betrayal. Most of all, you need to trust yourself and not let yourself be forced into a certain way of acting, often dictated by society. When you allow yourself to be your true self, you become comfortable with who you are and you allow others to be who they are. You have given yourself permission to recognize that you are a spiritual being. Society often tells you that you must walk a certain path in a particular way at a certain time. There is a fearful narrow-mindedness in most of this. By getting in touch with your tiger spirit, you see that this narrow-mindedness is keeping you caged in a life or way of living that is not you, that does not allow you to grow into a loving and compassionate person. The fact that this oracle has come to you today means there is an opportunity to free yourself and step into your divine destiny in a new way. Follow the instinct to grow into that radiant, loving life that is yours. That already seems like a lot. The challenges are certainly there for you to step into the unknown and transform your life, your way of interacting with others in various situations. But there is still more help in the second card, number 34. Ascended Master Merlin and Mystic, read the energy. What does the guidebook say about this oracle card? First of all, we see that the number triple three for ascending masters is the energy of divine creation, of the bringing together of masculine and feminine, and the result is wholeness. The triple three vibration is divine creation, it contains a very strong energy for learning and wisdom and helps the mind open and perceive higher knowledge, supporting the realization that div the divine purpose of life is for the body and the spirit to learn to love, unite, and shine together to become a genuine presence of divine love in the world. The guidebook says, quote, We bring you the blessing of reading the energy. We affirm that you have the ability to read energy accurately, and we encourage you to apply your gifts. You don't have to be in control of the inflow of divine information. When a message or insight comes to you naturally, this is best. Simply being open and receptive as you intend to read the energy of the person, place, or situation at hand is enough. Whether you have been reading energetically for years or are just beginning your journey 
in interpreting energetic information. We are here to assist you in becoming confident and trusting in your perceptive abilities. Close quote. Perception is not something most of us think about very often. It's usually someone else who tells us that we are very perceptive. That's what reading energy is all about. It's an unconscious, intuitive ability to make good choices for yourself and for others. Often we can help others see what they can't yet see or are unable to concisely recognize. Sharing your perception from a place of unconditional love with compassion and a non-judgmental attitude helps others gain awareness and insight. In social situations, this oracle is suggesting that we read between the lines or see beyond what first comes to mind. This means we need to listen for the truth behind the words that are used or looking for truth in actions. Somehow you just know, especially if it doesn't match appearances. This doesn't necessarily mean you'll know what to do or have a conclusive answer to your difficulty, but the guidance of your perception may point you in the right direction, help you find the next step that feels best for you. Trust your intuition. Allow yourself to be guided by the energy. You won't have the complete picture before you, but by taking individual steps, you will see your way clear to a final resolution. When you are weighing up all your choices, remember that sometimes the choice is to wait until you feel inwardly moved and inspired to act. Then ask yourself how each choice feels. Does it feel good or fearful? Does it make you anxious? What is drawing your energy forward? When you develop your talent for reading energy, you also learn how to meet your needs more skillfully. It's all part of the spiritual journey you are on. The deeper you go, the more you need to master self-care. It can be challenging because it asks a lot of your body, mind, and spirit to grow and transform. In order to function well and be at ease in social situations, we need to nurture ourselves. We need rest and solitude and sleep, in addition to fun and carefreeness of spirit and even socializing. And don't forget to tap into your creative energy, your mental energy, your physical energy, and your spiritual energy. When our path is blocked, it will influence the others, and you won't feel good. As each of these areas is nurtured and allowed to grow, your ability to heal and restore yourself will also increase. The more you understand and use the energy of perception, the freer you become and the anxiety you feel in social situations will diminish because balance has been restored and you are there in your true self. To complete this guidance, now look at Oracle 50, the inner queen, goddess Persephone and Ruby. What an awesome oracle this is to finish our eternal circle. This is a goddess card, which holds the triple eight vibration pattern. The message of a triple eight is to trust you have enough power and wisdom to be a powerful, loving light in the world to help others from a position of surrendered spiritual authority. It's a vibration of embodied enlightenment. The guidebook offers us this message, quote, 
we bring you the empowerment of the inner queen. The inner queen exercises authority through divine feminine wisdom. Her empowerment is active within men and women that consciously seek to honor feeling, instinct, and intuition, and choose to live their lives according to a moral code of compassion. When the inner queen stirs within, judgment is replaced with empathy for your own suffering and for that of others. You can understand that human beings who cannot resolve their suffering will unconsciously act out their pain in the world. They are unconsciously expressing their inner story with their outer actions, the story of their inner pain. The healing power of the inner queen brings pain to consciousness where it can finally be released and the soul freed. This can happen because of her compassion. She does not approach life with a fearful or judging nature, so she can more freely, through all realms, witness great pain and darkness and remain centered in her heart, sharing a gentle light of intention for the liberation from suffering for all, from all beings. She reminds us of our innate divine dignity and the healing power of our compassion. Close quote. The oracle of the inner queen is a reminder that your compassion for yourself and for others is your source of power. Her presence allows you to care for another without taking on their suffering as your own, as that would drain you. It also allows you to care for the world without becoming depressed and exhausted. Compassion energizes and motivates you to work towards your sacred purpose in life. You are empowered, empowered to stay true to your own reality while respecting the experience of others. When you judge yourself or others, you become trapped in their pain, and this will exhaust you and likely cause you to become angry and afraid. When social situations cause feelings of being used, abused, exploited, or taken advantage of in any way, the inner queen will remind you that you are royal. As you rediscover your inner dignity, you give yourself permission to disengage from the drama, to step back and take care of yourself. Only then can you respond to the situation rather than react to it. The Oracle of the Inner Queen also brings guidance, helping you to see what you need to do with your life. You are able to honor yourself as you are, rather than trying to force yourself to be something or someone you are not. The universe will support you, and life will become easier. The divine lives in you, so when you honor yourself, you are honoring the divine. As a bridge to the divine, the inner queen creates a link between you and the divine, so there is a mutual sharing. And to every question, love is the answer. You have within you all that is necessary to be a truly compassionate and loving person, even in the most difficult and awkward situations. The social anxiety you experience can be healed when you accept the beauty and uniqueness of who you are and understand that even the most difficult of people are also blessed with their own inner beauty and uniqueness. Relax and enjoy the multifaceted reality of who you are as an individual and in groups. Remember, you don't have to like everyone, but you do need to be compassionate to all. That's all I have for now. 
Thanks very much for sharing this session of Oracle Guidance with me. I'd love to hear your response to this reading. And do let me know if you have any suggestions for future topics. Until next time, stay connected to the divine and believe in the power of love.